Looking back at playing the Masters in the spring of 2018, it was one of the best experiences I've ever had as a golfer. Competing there and being a part of that week, and I'll never forget those moments. Masters week starts on Saturday before the tournament, so a couple extra days before the fans get there. So Saturday, Sunday, you had the course, you had the access, and um, I played with some members on Saturday and then some participants that were also playing in the event on Sunday. The clubhouse is, it looks small from the outside and you get in and there's just all these levels of locker rooms on one, the pro shops in there, they have the crow's nest where we stayed, um, and then there's a lot of administration there, more than you'd, see, you'd think was in there from the outside. And that being said, it's just there's so much history, there's pictures everywhere, there's clubs that people use during the Masters and, and that kind of stuff. I got to see the Champions Locker Room, which is pretty cool to see. That was on my first visit, and it's kind of blocked off week of the Masters, but that was back in November when I saw it. So to be able to see all that and see where it started from and pictures from when it used to be a, a flower nursery, and uh, so it's pretty, pretty cool to see. The amateur dinner on Monday night, um, it was great. It was a room full of people from the USGA, Augusta members and people from the RNA, and then us six amateurs, and then uh, Matthew Fitzpatrick was a speaker, so he was, uh, he was the only other contestant in the room. And just to see everyone's face so excited to be a part of that night, who they get to do this every year, and we get to do it maybe once, hopefully, hopefully more in the future. But um, yeah, it was a great night, and uh, just the whole, whole show they put on for us, it was not, not, unlike anything I've ever seen. Every, meal we had on property was just some of the best we've ever had. But the uh, presentation was really cool where they did a thing of the six of us who were there, how we got there. So you had videos of myself during the US Mid-Am and they talk about that and Jim Nance narrated it and they did it for all six of us. So it's cool to see the other five as well as, as yourself and your path to get to Augusta. I stayed in the crow's nest one night and that was Monday night after the amateur dinner. And I think there were five of us up there, four or five of us, I can't remember if two people didn't, didn't come that were supposed to. All, all six of us were, were planning on staying and I think a couple guys had some stuff they had to get to after the amateur dinner. But so we had the amateur dinner, we go upstairs and the national championship game was on for, for the uh, NCAA tournament. And so we all watched that and we went to bed fairly early and it was, it was one room with just like cubicles of beds and I couldn't believe how cold it was. So in the morning, I actually went down to the locker room to take a shower because it was a little too cold in the room to, uh, to shower up there. So it's kind of like sleeping in the fire station, just a much nicer one.